Steps on how to set up a Ganja Coin Master Node. <clears throat> First step, you're going to open your wallet and make sure it's on the current block number. 38458 is the current block number. Next, you are going to create a new address where your coins will be stored. Little slow. Click new address, call it master first master node. Copy the address, send the 30,000 coins right away so it has time to confirm. Send, send. <clears throat> Once that's sent, head over to Putty. You can Google it. Be the first one. Download that. I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. And install it. Once you install it, also head over to Digital Oceans. and create a new droplet. Uh, standard size, either $20 a month or $15 a month is fine. I always go with 20 <clears throat> You don't have to rename it, you can if you want. Create. Then you'll get all the information in your email to access this virtual private server. You have to go in your email to get all the information. I'm going to block it out so you guys don't see my password. <clears throat> Once you get the IP address, you can go open PuTTY. Like so. PuTTY. Put in the IP address. Name it. Save. Open. Yes. Type in your username and password that I sent you. Change it for security or leave it, doesn't matter. Okay, now our virtual private server is open and ready to start installing. We'll go ahead and update the server so it can run the Ganja Coin master node. These codes you could find in the Ganja Coin announcement. Copy is right click. I mean, sorry, paste is right click, enter, and it'll do its thing. That's the first step. This is the longest step, so I decided to redo this first. Wait till that's finished, and then we'll move on to the next step. I'm going to pause it to let it finish. Okay, it's all set. Now we go into the next step is to make the dev folder and download the Ganja Coin fork and then compile it. Right click to paste, enter. Now it's compiling. This is the longest part of the whole thing, so we're going to go ahead uh, and move into our wallet so we can get our private key and master node outputs. So go ahead and uh, open your Ganja Coin wallet again. Alright, here we go, open. Let's check our transactions. We see it has one confirmation of what the money, the 30,000 coins that you sent. Now we're going to go to help debug window.
console. Since we already got the address, we're not going to type in the key for an address. We're just going to do get the gen key. I'm just using this for testing purposes uh, and tutorial purposes, so these keys won't matter in the long term. So paste your key there because you're going to need it after. That's the join key. Now go ahead and get your output key. Here's my output information. I'll copy that right here just so I have it. Okay, we can close that. That part's done. Let's park a stay there. Master node, master node right here. This is where we'll add our master node information that we got. So once you click create, this will pop up. You're going to give it a name. It doesn't matter the name. You can call it uh, first master node, just like you did with the wallet address. Okay, so we call it first master node. The IP address of that master node, remember we saved it. Right here. IP with the port, which would be... Uh, I know it says 10560 there, but it's really 10559. Then you go ahead and put your private key in as well. We got that right here. Your tax, uh, your master node output without the commas. Sorry, not commas. Quotations. Just paste that right in there. And then zero. Because mine's zero right here. Okay, then you press OK. And now that's all set up. You got your uh, gen key, your outputs all set up. You created it in here. Just update it. And then you would see it added. Okay. Now your wallet, local wallet is all set. We'll move, out, move back to the virtual private server. What you can see is still compiling. We need to wait for this to finish uh, to continue. So uh, I'll pause the video and wait for it to be done. Actually, while this is waiting, we could create our config file, which will be right here. Delete these two because it already has a RPC user and RPC password. Uh, I'm just going to put in all your information, which would be. Uh, the IP address that you used, or that you got, that you got. Six. Without the port, uh, make sure you put the right tax ID one or zero. You got that with your master node outputs. <clears throat> put your IP again in here with the port and then replace this with your private key which would be me okay now this is ready this would be your config file once it st uh, stops compiling or finishes we will pause the video now until this is done Alright, this is what you see if it successfully compiled. It would look like this. It won't give any errors. Okay. And now with that being said, we will start the Ganja Coin daemon. And you can also make sure you are in the Ganja Coin source folder, which is GC fork slash source. Type this in. Enter. You'll get a, a small message saying that you need to, you know, create the RPC password and all that stuff. Um, from here. We will have to nano to the ganja coin folder. You'll see it right here. Nano dot marijuana slash ganja project dot config. Copy that. Paste. Enter. You already have all this, but you can go ahead and delete um, all the lines except RPC user and RPC password. Control K 
to quick cut it. Okay, now that's perfect. Again, all this doesn't matter because I'm going to reset up my master node anyways. This is just for tutorial purposes. You go ahead and copy and paste that information that we did earlier. Control C and then right click only one time. Okay? Now it's all set, has all your information, your IP port, again with your IP and then your gen key. Now we will control control X Y enter. Okay, if you missed that, it's control X, then hit Y, then hit enter. And then it would save it and close it. And you're still in the Ganja Coin folder. So all you would do is go ahead and again run the Ganja Coin daemon. Enter. It will say starting or it may say nothing and just leave it blank. Uh, it may look frozen, but that it is started, so do not get confused. You can test by just opening it again, the whole terminal. Log in. Go to that folder. If you type ls, it will show you everything. Uh, change dictionary to dev slash ganja coin fork slash source folder okay and then you can type in ganja d get info okay now you see it's not on it's not moving or anything so far so we mean need to update <clears throat> some seeds is all some add nodes if you want to say so I'm going to pause it real quick, get some add nodes, and then we'll be back to this. Alright, I'm going to go back and open um, that config folder. I'm going to close it, shut it down first. Ganja D, stop. Okay, this will stop too. We go back to the <clears throat> Ganja project folder. Enter. And at the bottom where it says seed node, we will just add in more seeds. That's all. Okay, add node, add node. Okay, perfect. I'll copy all those and I'll actually add them to this so you won't, you actually won't even have to do this. Control X, then Y, then Enter. Now start back up your Ganja D. Starting. Now, you, like I said, you could verify. Okay, now let's move in blocks. There we go. Now all we have to do is just wait for this to catch up to our current block. Okay, 38461. Um, and then we will be able to start our node. So let me check this again. All right, I'm going to pause the video and come back to when it's fully synced, and then I will start the note to show you guys how it works. Be back. All right, it's fully synced up. Um, you see, three eight four six one, and once it's done not responding it would show me the port I mean the block number <clears throat> okay we're looking at 38461 38461 just to confirm okay it's open running click the first one and click oh click the only one you have that you're setting up and then click start and you should see start it successfully. It's taking a bit. Slow in. We are. We have had a couple issues with the wallet where uh, it takes a couple minutes to respond. We are looking into the issue, and uh, we should have an update for you guys. <coughs> Here we go. Successfully started master node. Okay. Just click.
click OK. Um, update if it doesn't say on the list. As you see it says it's on the list, but just click Update. Then you can go to the Gondra Project Network and find your IP. 4123621759. Just to verify that it's on the network. Um, and once you do, you're all set. Just leave your wallet running. Uh, we don't recommend closing it because some people uh, don't get rewards when it's closed. So we recommend leaving it open. Um, <clears throat> just so it doesn't happen to you. looking for my IP just to verify for you guys 104236217 there we go it's the first one for me all right well I'm all set this is a tutorial on how to set up your ganja coin master node with a cold and hot wallet setup. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, understood it. If you have any questions, join Discord um, and we'll be happy to help. Thank you.